hey what's up people good morning and welcome to another video so this morning i've started sewing it fixing the zip to it so there's something i want to talk about the reason why i'm making this video from this trap you are seeing here this undo if you want to fix your zip please try not to fix your zip this side fix it this side because this is the place that is going to be facing the back you understand this is the front so you want the zip to be here before you sew this part to the rest of the zip on this side then the side left side right and the bottom which is this will attach it to one side and i will show you as we proceed to that and apart from this we are doing now we are going to still work on this i will show you um the measurements between this between the two hand the measurements you need and the strap you are going to fix here the measurement as well for you to fix the strap I'm going to show that on this particular video before we proceed to the next video we where we are going to assemble all the bags so I hope you guys have enjoyed every video I've sent please stay tuned make sure you watch all the video to the end make sure to subscribe to this channel like share and leave a comment on what you think or any project you want us to do next and we'll see you as we proceed to the next level thanks for watching so uh proceed with the sewing this this place will fix this uh rope to when you are trying to sew you sew from the under when you are trying to sew the top you have to hammer it so that it won't be heavier than your zip uh, your needle i mean so you hammer it this way and you continue stitching Make sure everything is well lined from the material down to the line. You set everything. And I bet after this, you guys are going to be making your own dream bag as a pro. So this is what we have so far. arrange this and start sewing to it as well you don't have time to waste you make sure everything is well accurate well arranged to do any mistake but if you it's allowed to do mistake from your mistake you learn and you adjust so that the next project will be very very good and okay one part you insert one part then you put the other one you don't let it to go inside you put the other one so that it will be balanced at the same end then you draw it as simple as that so i think i will dedicate a video to how you can easily fix your zip so stay tuned for that Do the same 
same thing to the second as well you put it a little bit then you are doing the second one and you insert it as well it's as easy as i'm putting it and it's as hard or as difficult as it's, as it's going to get so this is what we want to have as well so the next thing we are going to do now when we want to fix this bag this is the part that is facing the back and this is the part that is facing the front so when you want to fix this we want to make sure we fix this this way because we are fixing it on the front so we are now when i when i when you are thinking where are we going to fix this on that this is this part if you fix it here it will give you headache you have to do it the other way around which is very very difficult and it might even spoil the product the project you have been working on so i need you guys to please strictly pay attention to what i just said now So this is how we want our bag to be we want to start fixing it from the center all the way around to this place so what we'll do now is we arrange this and you put this on it since you already know the seam allowance you want to give you give the perfect seam allowance there's no particular seam allowance it's based on uh, what you add to it when you are trying to cut the fabrics or the material that determines your seam allowance so other than that there's no well i would say there's fixed seam allowance based on your design but on this design there's no fixed seam allowance you just need to do this accurate make it look nice and you continue making your green bag So I stitch on the zip because at the outside I'm not going to stitch the outside. That's how I'm going to do it. That's the reason why when I get close to the zip I stitch it so that it gives you stability. But if I'm going to stitch the outside, I'll just sew it once, then come outside again and stitch it once. So that's that. We have this already. So the next thing we are going to now is our. Uh, make the first hand if you need to do if you need to make this first hand what you do is you measure three inch from down to where the edge is going to be then you align it and you sew so i've done this first one i'm going to do the second one so that you guys can see we face this outward like this make sure not to do mistake then you arrange this you make sure everything is well balanced you see as you can see this is 3 inch I've balanced everything where I want it to be this is balanced this is balanced and you stitch you make sure everything is accurate the way you want to the way you want it to be you don't want to make any mistake Here we have it. This is what we want it to look like. If you measure, this is 3 inch. If you measure the same thing here, this is also 3 inch. Then the next thing you are going to do, you can't leave this like this. You cut it. You cut this out. You cut this out. You throw this to the recycle bin. I say recycle bin or waste bin, you cut this as well. And here is the shape we want our bag to have. We have the shape our, our bag we want. We have the shape we want our bag to have. So the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to do one of it, then the other one I'm not going to show it on the video. How to fix this? 
sometimes people prefer not to fix that after they finish sewing fixing but sometimes i also prefer to fix this so when i'm done with the circumference of the bag the assembly i'll just have my bag that way so the first thing you do is you make sure this is straight the way you want it to be the way it's going to be straight then you insert this down like this you bring it to the front as well back this way then you take it here you take it to the D to the square ring then you bring it back here you are not going to put this from the main side you put it through the other side you insert this and you draw this as you can see this is what we have you make sure you adjust this so that you have a room for you to stitch so this is what you have then you fold the rough mouth the rough edge and you start stitching you make sure you stitch very well because you don't want this to lose in a short period of time and you also do the same thing to the other side as well how it look like as you can see very neat and of a pro finish so guys make sure to subscribe to this channel please like leave a comment and we'll see you on the last video on this particular project where we are going to assemble our bag make sure to subscribe like uh, like leave a comment and share with you thank you for watching